What's up, Sassy Gamers? Today is January 27th, 2022, and this is episode season two, or season two, episode 33. Episode I always want to rush that. Two, I don't know. Episode something. We're, not, we're on an episode. Uh, and here with uh, Bruno, Kelly, and Brian. Excited. Welcome. Yeah. This, I'm excited. It's, Crystal clear. You're starting, starting to become a Bruno again. Got some, that's a little bit of got, some stubble got coming some, in there. Some hair really nice. on my face. Got a year or two to go. <laughs> a year or oh, two. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. he's underestimating oh, me. Oh. I wouldn't think Come on, hair, hair. Prove him wrong. His- if your hair grows as fast as my, if your facial hair grows as fast as my facial hair, you will be set in a month. <laughs> the fact that you had to By specify facial hair kind of now made I'm that. like, <laughs> I'm trying to picture you with a beard. Uh, just imagine my brother, and that's pretty much what I look like. <laughs> I don't know that I've met your brother. I'm not, I don't remember what he looks like, but I bet you can pull a beard off. You're fine. Yeah, yeah, totally. You're fine. I'm totally good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm kidding, I'm kidding. So what's up, fam? How's everybody doing this week? Everything everything working out? Everything? At least we're all here together. And I'm talking about you listeners, not the people that I'm sitting here with, because I don't care about them. Uh, yeah. More of the people who are listening. Hope your week has been great. I hope that, you know, if anything, you can at least laugh at us or with us. I uh, think that yes. makes it a little bit better for your week. Uh, so thanks for listening and thanks for being here. Yeah. Hey. Kelly. Hey, Mike. Let's get into your corner. Nobody puts me in a corner. <laughs> Except for well, apparently Mike. Apparently Mike <laughs> does and he enjoys it. Get in your corner. Um, <laughs> uh, so I actually have hmm. um, two articles for you today. Uh, one specifically requested by Mike. Uh, well, I, I wouldn't say I specifically requested it. I, I, I really I, excited. I kind of oh, threw you, it at you. <clears throat> and then I you, think you specifically requested it. Yeah, there was I like mean, a, when, when you put it in my corner, there that's was a vote, kind of a and we I, I all didn't really say no, it was your. And then well, I, guess I <laughs> vetoed today. the vote and was like, "Actually, it's a hundred percent yes. This yeah. article yeah. has to happen." I actually did put it in your corner today. It wasn't yeah, there he, initially. Yeah, Mike lives in the past, and you'll see. You'll see that soon. Yeah, this is the worst lead up ever. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm yeah, it get worse, really sorry. It Usually sucks. it's much more exciting. Than this. Yeah. Okay, so um, to kind of brighten everybody's moods, though, the title of this NPR article was Here's the Scoop on Cat Poop Coffee. <laughs> and I, after reading through the article, I do remember hearing, I think remember hearing this, um, the uh, audio portion of the article on NPR back in wait for it october of 2012 (laughs) because that's when the article's from Um, the world ended well no that was 2020 um so cat calendar (laughs) that's true okay cat poop coffee um is not made from cat poop heads up it's actually made from um this tiny little um indonesian uh mammal uh called a civet and they do look pretty adorable um that one they... looks threatening <laughs> that almost looks like <laughs> looks like my cat at times. yeah I mean, it that's... does look like your cat actually <laughs> here kitty 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 you're kitty, like kitty. adorable and it's like <sighs> yeah that is like mike's cat actually <laughs> it's 100 percent like his cat uh, um Mika. I, I was I was gonna stop. I wasn't gonna say your name, but um, since wow. you did it, it does look a lot like <laughs> doxed cat. Yeah, like, like <laughs> poor cat. That cat yeah. is gonna get so much spam now. Oh my god! I oh, know. Mika's Twitter is going to blow <laughs> up. <laughs> That's why I need to start her get, Twitter. She's gonna get yeah. so many like calls and emails for like yo cheap catnip now. Find yes, your yes. tomcat <laughs> next door. Oh, I was thinking god. more she like Castle Mika, twenty twenty two. Yeah, I don't, I don't think she a, needs help on the, the Tomcat thing. <laughs> She's got plenty. She just sits at the door. We have a little white window slits. So she'll just sit there in the morning and then like, I'm like, what is she doing? And then I look in the, the Nest cam or like the is it Nest or whatever I have. And uh, you can see like other cats like strolling by. And I'm like, what? she got some boyfriends. huh? <laughs> yeah, she does. And I think some girlfriends, too. Hey, I mean, it's more than Mary. All, all types. She That's awesome. In demand. 
Um, so it, it's this little animal called a civet. And um, to kind of, since this article was from 2012, to kind of brush up on my cat poop <laughs> coffee knowledge, oh, I good. did some additional research. And I found another article from 2020 that goes into a lot more detail. Um, and that article is actually, if you're curious, from enjoyjava.com and specifically about civet coffee. Uh, so these little civets, they eat only the ripest coffee berries um, and coffee they berries? love them. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. The co- co- that's, coffee beans that's what it's are, holding. Yeah. Right. Those, so those are, in, those are coffee, the not the coffee beans. beans. So no, that's the, bean, the berries. The, the, that's the where the beans bean come is from. the seed of the berry. Uh, okay. 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 That's where coffee yeah. beans come from. Yeah. And so they eat only the best ones. The best ones. And then um, they. So do they. <laughs> Sorry. No? Let, do let they finish. <laughs> Just let do it finish. Let it... Yeah. <laughs> um, so they, it goes through the process of digestion. <laughs> and during that process of digestion, digestion, there is some fermentation. And then uh, the cat or the civet which is also called a toddy cat it is not actually a cat they are completely different species but it's called a toddy cat so that's where the cat poop coffee thing came from um so then uh kitty it out and it looks like an o henry bar so this is definitely they they're basically their (sighs) only source of nutrition um i will never eat another o henry bar as long as i live uh not that it was a huge consumer but if I didn't before, already know what that was, I would think that that's part of a candy factory and it looked mm-hmm. good. Yeah. Knowing I mean, what yeah, it before was. Before the stream, I asked, I said, hey, so that is chocolate, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Forbidden and, and what, chocolate. <laughs> yeah. and, and knowing what that was I, and seeing the, the civet and how small it was, mm-hmm. I'm like, that must have been painful. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah. all I could think of So they eat the berries, and do the berries have the seeds in them? Yes. No, they 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 eat the seeds separately. They get their little civet knife out, and they you know make a little slit, and then they peel it open. Their little civet claws, and then they they save that for dessert, and then eat just the berry. So so what I'm hearing is there's like (laughs) there's like a Johnny Appleseed, yes, out there that's basically creating coffee for the rest of us. Yes. Um, I don't. I'm not drinking this coffee. <laughs> I want to point out. Plants, well, but right? I mean, just, it, his point is valid. Oh, is, is got they, it. Yeah. they distribute okay. the seeds. This is true. Yes, yes, yes. When, yes, when did yes, this start? I guess true. this was like a thing starting when, like 20, 2012 is when this yeah, first arose. Or? No, ish. way before then. Oh, way well, before oh then? no, no. Okay. Oh, so let me go into the history of that. Okay. Yeah. So the way in case anybody's wondering, <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> so the plantations, uh, the plantation owners would not let the plantation workers drink coffee made from the beans on the plantation. Therefore, those poor workers needed their coffee and decided, well, the civets just did it out, so. Waste not, want not, waste not, want not, and uh, made their own coffee from the civet poop. Uh, so that's where it actually originated. Now, cat poop coffee is very expensive. Um, we're talking like between one and two hundred dollars per pound of coffee. In this 2012 article, it was sixty dollars for four ounces of beans, and that's not a lot. Um, so they, it, it, they say that the, it, be, the reason it's so expensive is because they have to go out and find civet poop. Yeah. Well, it gets a little, it, it, this is where it kind of, the article took a really sad turn is because it's so expensive, we, they now have to, they, they're now caging these poor animals and feeding them. Oh. non-ripe berries so they're being forced to eat this these berries that don't even taste good to them creating these <laughs> logs of poop uh which are now being sold as this really great coffee but it's one it's subpar now 
Yeah. These animals are caged and they are not meant to be caged. And also every single article that I read says, okay, well the coffee tastes like mellow, more mellow than like a regular coffee. Um, but <laughs> nobody says it's like great. It's delicious. I love this coffee. It's just, it's cat poop coffee. It, it and that's <clears throat> it's because it's expensive because it's expensive is the only reason people are drinking it. <laughs> right. Yeah. So the bougie That's people wild. are drinking cat poof coffee. Got yeah. I actually, <laughs> exactly. I actually checked on them, huh? and the phrase eat originated in the mid 19th century, which means it took about 80 to 100 years for somebody to take that literally. OK, so I'm seeing some uh, chatter on Twitter that um, my bestie is telling me <laughs> that we had this coffee at the office that we all worked at at one point. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. I hope it wasn't like Fear Factor. Like, we don't really know. <laughs> like, we all had it. We just didn't I realize. really, yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> one of our coworkers brought it in. Um, uh, did you drink it? <laughs> Please Oof. tell me no. Please tell me no. Please tell me no. <laughs> <laughs> And she's gonna be okay, like, she said no. She's she like, said no. Yeah, okay. I didn't, but you did. I mean, <laughs> yeah. She's like, remember that time I brought you that cup of coffee, and you were like, mm, "This is delicious." <laughs> You're like, "Man, yeah. this is it's a little mild." <laughs> yeah, in theory, in it's theory, really the mild. fermentation that happens during digestion is supposed to make it like a little less yeah. bitter. Uh, but yeah, you're you're 100 right. Right, the price mm. came from the fact that it was so hard to get because. You had these wild animals that yes. you had to like go and find the <laughs> Henry bars, the old Henry bar. <laughs> yes, yeah. And uh, yeah, I mean that's where a lot, a lot where a lot of the price came from, and and also they picked the best berries, you know, so that some of the quality was there as well in theory. Uh, but yeah, uh, and it, and Bruno, yes, has definitely been around yeah. for a while because, like, e even the Bucket List, which is a 2007 movie, right. had a whole subplot about <clears> this. <throat> mm -hmm. That's why. So that was 2007, name. and I had actually learned about it before that movie. I had known about Kopi, whatever Kopi something, for the name of the coffee. I forgot. What oh, it was uh, oh, um, the name of the other name of the animal. No, like the name of yeah, the coffee. Ko Kopi Luwak. I yeah, it's like, called is Civic Coffee. Yeah, I didn't realize this thing was a huge thing when I I remember hearing about the story and I was like, oh yeah, it's whatever. It's like one of those mm. dumbass things, like a novelty it, item right I, now. And that's true. <clears throat> yeah, but <laughs> it sounds like true. it's not just a novelty item. It's something that's existed for yeah a while. I, I mean, it's still a novelty item. <laughs> Listen, yeah. If yeah. people want to drink cat cat flavored coffee or cat oriented coffee then yeah. power to them man what yeah. you do with your money is what you do exactly. with your money I, I approve mean, you're you, not wrong. you have my blessing <laughs> may the poop be ever in your favor <laughs> <laughs> or sorry in your flavor in your flavor yeah there you go well fortunately the poop doesn't make it into the flavor they do wash that part off yes they definitely do. oh yeah and, they, and, and they, they also go water. <laughs> Yeah, no, they do a lot they, more they than say, that. There's a whole process they go through. Yeah, there's a whole process. It's a lengthy process. But they also, um, when you um, lengthy. roast the beans, it gets rid of anything that could be harmful too. So, hopefully, but, I like that the words used there. Harmful. Feel any better. Yeah. So as long as it's not harmful, <clears throat> it can stay. I mean, it's funny. We just had that conversation. I think last night. I will. I will jump out of an airplane. No questions asked. Mm -hmm. But I would not drink a cup of this coffee. Oh god! Well, that's the thing. It. Yeah, because we were talking I about this guy who's skydive or what? Uh, what do you call it? We're jumping, talking about like, divers. Yeah, divers. Like they go up 175 feet or whatever we saw. <clears throat> oh, we're like, there's right. no way that I would do that and jump oh. into a pool of water. Like that's just yeah, not gonna happen. That's insane. No. And then it moved and into skydiving, and, and it was Bruno's like, shaking. like I'll do yeah, that. Could, I'm not drinking. If that. they could guarantee that this coffee was made from like free range civets instead of caged ones, I, I might try one cup. But what about just jumping? Diving yeah. into a no. pool of this cat poop coffee. No, that would be a <clears throat> that would be more expensive. A very expensive swimming yeah, pool. And also, there's no chlorine. In, so I oh, wow. and in coffee should be hot. So 
Mm, pass, definitely. I need oh, to no, do I, the math I, now on how expensive it would be. What kind of a pool are we talking? Olympic size? <laughs> I mean, ice coffee. well, that was like a sea world pool that we saw in the video. So, oh god. Anyway, we digress. <laughs> Maybe we so, should shocker. The, we should link the video for the the old swimmer guy that we watched from like the seventies. We'll we should link that, that video on the on the YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's a good idea. Anyway. <laughs> Maybe we can talk about it next time. Uh, more, I guess. God, All right. The typing uh, is so loud. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> True. So the next article I have is about Wordle. So if you are a member of our Discord, um, it is no secret that we are, several of us are really into Wordle. If you don't know what Wordle is, it's an online game. Um, it is, you have to figure out what the five letter word is in six chances or five chances, six chances, six chances. Yeah. So there are six boxes at the top and you just type in any word. And if the letter, if a letter in the word is in, in the actual word and it is in the right spot, that one will be, that letter will be green. If the letter is in the word, but in the wrong spot, that letter is in the word somewhere. If the, oh yeah, yeah, my, my mom just said that uh, my dad's doing Wordle right now. Oh God. <laughs> so, okay, this just, it, I just, uh, it's we're like at a, a whole other level thing. now. It really I got to call dad. Um, <laughs> so, um, uh, if the, word the letter is black or grayed out um it's not in the word at all so i have been killing it on wordle up until yesterday and it took me like four chances to figure it out maybe five chances to figure it out um but it is an addictive game and it's one word a day so the fun part is like you find out from your friends how long did it take you to get the wordle Oh my gosh. Oh, I should have known the world. And then you have a discussion, right? Yeah. Um, no, the, the tweets that. kill me because everybody like <laughs> takes the time to get the little boxes and, and no, with no, with can, no letters. Oh, no, no, oh, no, no, no. You it, just share it. Yeah, oh, that God. comes from the website. You just share. <clears throat> yeah, it's all yeah. Brian. So it just doesn't like boxes too. showing how you. Yeah. No, I'm really also, dedicated, um, Brian. I've been doing that <laughs> since we started. <laughs> One slight step back to the previous story. Uh, the math comes out to $686 million on average cost of cup of cat poop coffee to fill one Olympic-sized swimming pool. Thanks for that. Thank You're you quite that. welcome. Anytime, guys. <laughs> so the thing with Wordle, like, it, like it, and it's kind of funny you said that because, like, your, your dad or your mom's doing it, right? Mm -hmm. It kind of reminds me of, like, the people who do the crossword puzzles out of the newspaper, right? Like, yeah. like I know when I wake up, the first thing I do as I'm drinking my cup of coffee is basically play world like try to yeah. get and then usually by that point i'm already getting a message like a, a text message from my wife saying like her results and you know oh, whatever wow. or okay. i'm sending it back to her and like you know it's and i did for the first time like well i've been playing for about a week and i did fail one finally and it was it was just so like mm. overwhelming because there's actually articles that people have already written like i the, the word of the day today gave me so much anxiety and I've learned so much from it. And it's, I was sitting reading that going like, yep, I know exactly what yep, you're talking totally. about because that same word wrecked me. And I was just like, ah, that I couldn't get it in six tries. But the worst is when you have like, like the last three letters on like round three. Uh -huh. And the problem with that is like, that's the last three letters are like very common for like a lot of words. Yes. So you start going through different words, going through different words, and eventually you get to six and you're like YOLO and then it's over. And you're like, great. Well, I lost my, my I've noticed in seeing your posts in the discord um, that you don't have ex I don't exactly have the best strategy. <laughs> Oh my so God. what Mike Are you does, really doing this right now? Is this I happening? am I'm totally doing this right now. <laughs> Are you really um, going there? I'm going there. Um, there is no right strategy. And sometimes yes, I do is. things that are wild just to, so what, to do that. What, is, isn't so, this supposed to be for what we've been playing? <laughs> I, <thought we> had, <laughs> I guess. Okay. How about we'll pause that. Pause this here. There's no right strategy. It. I typically win every time I play. I've lost one. 
So your strategy sucks, is what you're saying? Yeah. So, no, okay. I'm, I'm I mean, he's got a there. point. <clears throat> no, Mike's strategy. I mean, no, I no, win. Okay. Wait, wait. Winning all right, is hold on. It let let six me tries. Let, You've so, played it for how many days? Probably about a week, I would think. Yeah. Uh, I feel like I've seen four or five posts from you. Mm. Maybe. So, but Mike's I've been strategy, playing it before I started sharing on Discord, though. Like, like a 13% loss rate? Oh, that's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, um, wow. James E. Sucks on Twitch is saying <laughs> it's the one thing Mike wins at and, and he's still lost. <laughs> wow. Um, <laughs> I mean, at least I don't so, cheat, Mr. I got oh, I got the word in one try. Like, I come mean, on. It's dude. possible. Nah, not him. Not James. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's it possible. It is totally it just, possible. It just I, depends on if he guessed yes. that one word, really. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He didn't guess that word, man. Come on. It's James. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, I'm anyway. I'm, I'm, anyway, so Mike's strategy is, oh, well, I'm just going to try a word with none of the characters that I already know are either A, in the right position or B, in the word. Sometimes I do that. Okay, because well, I'm trying to just get some other letters because I'm stuck on. Well, well not uh, really, because I have two letters that are already included in the word, but I don't know of any words where those those letters are placed. So I use see? other words that are in other okay. places to get letters that may spark something else for me in the future. I like to take. I have strategy. Time. Okay, <laughs> I, I just. I mean, do whatever you want to do, man. There you go. Don't gatekeep me. <laughs> right? Yeah, I guess um, I didn't I, realize this that. This is the but... first gatekeeping I've ever done, and <laughs> I actually totally understand Well, that and me, me pronouncing words, that's basically Wordle apparently oh, yeah. uses... But that's not gatekeeping. You're just wrong. Wordle apparently <laughs> uses a library of 2,500 words, so you have a 1 in 2,500 chance of guessing the correct word on your first It's shot. possible. It's totally possible. And so James said... Um, oh, okay, James, we're going to go back to you when we actually start talking about our strategies and all that stuff. So uh, we're going to talk about that in our, what we've been playing. Not Going go back, back to, to the article though. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the article so Wordle is a one word a day article <laughs> well. and um, a one word a day game. So every morning, like Mike said, he gets up and it's the first thing he does. He's drinking his coffee and he's looking at it. Um, but because it's a one a day thing, coffee too. <laughs> yeah, you gotta have bougie cat boop coffee, and it's super cold. No wonder um, you keep failing the wordle. I mean, you have to sell all your brain cells in order to afford cat poop coffee. Oh my god! Exactly. Um, so p- some people are like, like ramping up for more. They like one word a day. Just, they they just they just need more. They need their their fix. So there are other. <laughs> groups who've been creating knockoffs right um and mike actually told us about one of them and that's loodle and um and this is per the kotaku article that i I, kotaku.com article that i read um so loodle is just like wordle one word a day but it is has to be a lewd word and i am (laughs) sorry mom and dad um (laughs) The list, according to <laughs> Kotaku, includes boobs, <laughs> and so on. <laughs> um, that one's totally up my alley. I'm going to definitely start. Up your what? Start alley. Up my alley. Oh, got it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm going to play that one. That one looks like a lot of fun. Um Another one is absurdal, mm-hmm. and it's definitely harder. Um, but you can also play as many times as you want. So ah. the fun for me is oh, it's one word a day, and I can compete with my friends. But with absurdal, you get a different word every single time, and you can just keep playing. And anyway, so um. But Absurdal also, uh, <laughs> the author of this article said, Absurdal hates you and doesn't want you to win <laughs> because it can actually change the word um, that you're guessing. So it so it's the dark souls of Wordle. It hates yes. you. It Sounds doesn't like want it. you to win. Yes. Yes. So um, for so it, it, it'll you start with in, in this example in the article. Hello. So it'll it'll go to. um the bucket 
that has H E L N O and pick a completely different word. Um, and then it gets crazier because there's dirtle and dirtle is where you have to guess two words and it demands perfection. So you don't get, Oh, well, O is in there somewhere. It's just not, you didn't guess it right. And, um, you have to keep guessing. You only get seven guesses to pick, to guess both words in the dirtle. So if you are hankering for more wordle, you have at least three other options. And I guarantee by the end of the week, there'll be more. <laughs> well, there's been, so, there's been knockoffs that they've already mm-hmm. taken off of app stores because that they, uh, they were so similar. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. So just a, a tidbit, if you use an iOS or Android device, uh, if you go to the website and then you go to like your browser that you're using, like the little hamburger menu and go to the settings, uh, typically, that little drop down, there's an option to add to home page or had to add to home screen or whatever. Uh, and if you do that, it'll make an icon like on your home screen to where you can like access it from there. So if you instead of having to go to the website each time uh, and the way that like at least on my my Android device, it'll actually almost open it like an app. It almost seems like it's on an app, not in the browser. Like If I scroll down, I don't see the header um, from the browser. So it's just a neat little addition if you want to play like that. Cool. Kelly's still talking, but she's on mute, so I guess. <laughs> we'll repeat all of this uh, once we start playing, or when we start talking about what we've been playing. <laughs> well, I'm yeah. sure we'll be able to skip one or two sentences there. Yeah, maybe. <sighs> all right. Well, cool. Anything else on that Wordle? Or is that the, That's all I got for the you. Wordle of the day? So, cool. I guess we'll move into the news. is always Demiran's favorite. So last week we talked about Microsoft uh, and the huge acquisition of them buying Blizzard Activision and a lot of news revolving around that. So obviously there's some new things um, that have kind of happened since the last time we talked. So we're going to add those in. Uh, So a lot of the questions were revolving around some of the games um, and some of the IPs that were now going to be under Microsoft. And if uh, some of those were like Spyro and Crash Bandicoot, things that were typically on a PlayStation. So it's like, is Sony like even, I mean, nowadays they call it duty and stuff, but it's like, is Sony going to have rights to those games anymore? Are they still going to like be able to have those on their platform? Uh, And actually uh, this past week, like January 20th. So Phil Spencer, who's now the CEO of Xbox uh, gaming uh, has come out on his Twitter, Microsoft gaming, excuse me. He uh, he was president of Xbox. Then he got promoted. Right. Now he's Microsoft gaming. Uh, He actually tweeted out and said, had good calls this week with leaders of Sony. I confirmed our intent to honor all existing agreements upon acquisitions of Activision Blizzard and our desire to keep Call of Duty on PlayStation. Sony is an important part of our industry and we value our relationship. So again, another post from a gentleman that like just seems to be a good dude. Like he, there is no, you know, are we going to like, he's literally the CEO saying, Hey, we're going to do this. So, I mean, if he kind of backtracks on that now, you know, that would be a lot of flack for him to have to take in the future. So, well, and he's had a good you know. track record of not backtracking on things, uh, except for like backtracking on things that end up being positive. Like when they said, okay, we're done doing backwards compatibility. Sorry, anything else we're just not going to do. And then like a year and a half later, they're like, surprise, here's 15 more <laughs> yeah. things. And by the way, blood on the sand, you can, you have to have a disc. You can't buy it digitally. So the discs are now $120 a piece for a not great game. <laughs> yeah. He's, so he's, that was just, um, I'll say it's just, that's something that, you know, like I said, he came out and said um, pretty much like right away. Like it wasn't like, you know, people were starting to harass him. Like, is this going to happen? It's like he heard the rumors people were talking and here, not the rumors, the, the concerns that people had. And he just took it upon himself to tweet. And that's just what I mean. And it's from his account. He's, you know, Phil Spencer uh, or at Xbox P3. Like that's, that's his account. So not like a, a random, you know, Xbox account or Microsoft account. It's, it's literally his account mm-hmm. uh, that he came out and said this on. So um, kind of just go ahead and nip it in the bud here. This is what we're doing. And this is how we're going to go forward with it. 
two years yeah, from now, they just announced, yeah, Call of Duty is being discontinued in favor t- of uh, Teams of Duty. So, <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> Teams of the, Duty. That is that. not coming out uh, on PlayStation, by the way. It's a totally new project. I mean, he's <laughs> he's been a gentleman in the past as well. I mean, he, even recently, he uh, complimented Sony on their DualSense controller and said there was some really cool things there and, you know, and basically said, Hey, we'll have to keep looking into things for our controller too. But, uh, and you know, he's made compliments of the switch. He made, he congratulated Sony on, I think it was like when they announced or they released the PlayStation five or something like that, he'd send out, you know, like he's been very like gentlemanly like about, uh, and, and I mean, to be honest, you don't want to become a monopoly anyway. Otherwise they're going to break you up. So it's good to have, you know, competition like that. And he really yeah, seems speaking to foster of that, it. Um, last week, Day Drinker kind of mentioned, mm-hmm. you know, that monopoly thing. Like she's like, you know, and this is a huge mm-hmm. thing. There's a lot of paperwork that has to go through and they have to look at like every single thing to really determine if the government has to say that's happening. To mm-hmm. well, check that box. Well, literally <laughs> shortly after uh, the acquisition was announced, uh, there has been uh basically talk that the FTC is already reviewing the purchase uh, to making mm-hmm. sure that on their side, everything <clears throat> is even legal enough for them to actually go through with. So of well, course, as soon as that deal was it's, announced, it's there. It's well, it's not. So that is that deal was announced, but also they're like, Oh, by the way, we're going to go through our guidelines and just make some changes and tweak things and make sure that our guidelines are accurate. And it's like, Oh, uh, so are you going to start changing things in the guidelines that prevent this merger? Yeah. I mean, that's, that's the other thing too. It's like, you know, like obviously they need to review it, but at the same time, it is kind of odd that they would decide to do that now. You know, right after a huge announcement exactly. like this has been made. So, yeah. Well, like I the, mean, the, the timing is very coincidental. The timing well, do, is definitely coincidental. I, I don't think they're really related all that much. I mean, mm. even deciding to do that for any large organization, FTC being a, a pretty decent sized one, you mm. know, th- they usually are like I don't know. planning that stuff a while I, beforehand. I don't know that it's super coincidental because you got to remember that right before this was announced um, was when the facebook instagram whatsapp right uh, that's true. thing was pushed through like so we're talking about this is essentially two weeks after that entire thing kicked off they're revising the guidelines i think it just so happened that activision blizzard purchase went through like right. within the same window that the government was like yo facebook that makes sense yeah mm-hmm. it's time the hatchet men are coming <laughs> like <laughs> <clears throat> yeah and i i also hatchet. honestly think that the that the merger will go through because there's there's just they, they yeah. can sit there and they can point at so many other things of large companies like them that are doing similar things and that there are still small companies out there. And they, of all people, can definitely point to that because, you know, they got, you know, ID at Xbox. They've got uh, all the smaller companies that they bring in through Xbox Game Pass or PC yeah. Game Pass. And they can say there's, you know, obviously there's independent studios still out there. Obviously, there's also mega studios out there that like Ubisoft and EA and, and Sony, Sony being both in the hardware and the software side, like Microsoft is as well, and Nintendo for that matter, because <laughs> okay, Nintendo's Nintendo even too. purchased some studios. So yeah. they, they have good examples that they can point to where they can say, well, we're obviously not the only guys in town. Yeah, I mean, like they're like they said themselves, once the merger is completed, they would be the third largest gaming company. Yeah, behind Sony. And like, yeah, yeah. when you look at the top (laughs) 10, you can combine the remaining ones within the top 10 and make like 1.7 Microsoft's worth of studios even after their purchase. So, Mm -hmm. and honestly, this is probably the after all of the harassment and litigation, this is probably the best thing that can happen to um, Blizzard Activision. Yeah, we can hope. Well, you know, I guess you could say that Phil Spencer at the very least is charitable. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we like we did say in the last podcast though too. Like he, Phil Spencer is, is seems just like the nicest guy. You I know? still want and, that transcript. There's got it's got like I want I want a transcript of the day that Phil Spencer walked into Sammy's office mm-hmm. 
I was like, <laughs> I know that we have one hundred and thirty billion dollars saved up across all of Microsoft, and I want to take seventy billion of that to buy a game company. Yeah, <laughs> and just be in on that meeting to hear how that broke down. I could only imagine, like the board of directors at Microsoft being like, "Are you insane?" <laughs> Yeah, like, and, but he has a point here, but he may be still insane. <laughs> I, I think the other point, and, and granted, we did say this last week, but I still say it bears repeating, is we got Bobby Kotick, who was late to and left early to the 15-minute meeting that he gave his people about it versus the lengthy email that uh, Phil Spencer sent out to his groups and that he clearly said that and again repeating what we said last night but from the email we deeply value individual studio cultures we also believe that the creative success and autonomy go hand in hand with treating every person with dignity and respect we hold all teams and all leaders to this commitment we are looking forward to extending our culture of proactive inclusion to the great teams across Activision and Blizzard. So if that isn't a clear, clear sign saying, yo, this needs to stop over on your guys' side because we're not going to put up with it. We're not going to put up with, even even if they're just looking at us as business and saying, we're not going to put up with this because of the legal ramifications and everything else, at least they're doing some, seems like they're going to do something to stop it. You gotta be like such a garbage CEO to barely show up to your own town hall meetings. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, from the past of having garbage CEOs, uh, at least they actually showed up for the town hall meetings too. So yeah, that's pretty bad. <laughs> oh man. But uh, I think Phoenix has some news about blizzard though. Ah, oh, God. I mean, I don't know why you have me announcing this. Uh, I just pointed out how hilarious it was. So there there isn't a lot here. I mean, there's almost nothing to this. Uh, It is pretty exciting that Blizzard did announce in a blog. So E3 didn't happen really. uh, And it's, and it's ending up that you don't need E3 to happen to make announcements for your company. You don't have to spend $20 million to show up at E3. Um. And that includes building your demo and taking time away from actually development. But they announced the first IP that is new since Overwatch. Uh, and what year was Overwatch, Bruno? <laughs> I'd have to Google it, honestly. <laughs> I mean, what was it? Two, yeah, it was 20, 2012, 2013. So it's been a little bit. 2016. 2016, okay. 2016, really? I feel mm-hmm. like it's been out so, forever. Eight years. Yeah, so Brain? first oh, new no, intellectual six. property. Sorry, it's going to be, they said it's going to be a new world with new heroes, new adventures. And the part that got me and the part where I like jumped on it and sent it to the team was that it was a survival game. And if you this can't tell where, in video, yeah. for, and, I'll, and I'll make sure that people in audio know, Zeisia has one of the biggest grins that he's had on his face since his son was born. <laughs> uh, there's been other things that I've smelled on. No, like the him strumming along with his little <sighs> ukulele. Yeah, I mean, there's things that um <laughs> that do make me feel excited about that, but at the same time, not because obviously you have you know oh, eventually this is all going to be Microsoft, right? Uh, but the team that announced it is Blizzard, who are the team that are still working on this, going with mm-hmm. this new concept idea because they're even hiring for this game already on their website. It doesn't have much to it. But the fact that, you know, knowing the longevity of like World of Warcraft, not saying that it's, you know, been great the last few years from what I've heard from people. But what I'm saying is the fact that it's been able to last at long and have support and have, you know, people playing it, wanting to play it. That excites me. And then the fact that you have it moving under the Microsoft umbrella, which, you know, is going to add in a bunch of different developers, different teams from all over uh, to kind of integrate with that. This could be a really cool game. But yeah, I'm interested to see when it hits, though, right? Because right. like when you think about it, the survival genre has been dwindling for a while. Like every once in a while, it gets a resurgence, but overall, it's not as popular as it was just like five years ago. 
Yeah. I think it peaked like four or five years ago and it's been on a downtrend ever since. So this game was just announced now. You can probably expect a release date of like three, four years from now. Like yeah. well, how least. big is survival going to be then? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it's Blizzard. So if they keep Blizzard timelines, Blizzard timelines, even under yeah. Microsoft, it'll be like 2037. So like we'll be playing survival in real life and then getting on our computers to play survival on. <laughs> yeah. Well, of course, Microsoft Activision Blizzard. Of course, they delayed it to 2037 <clears throat> because, you know, they'll have to like uh, port it over to the new, you know, AR contact lenses that we're all wearing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We'll all be plugged into the metaverse. <laughs> yeah. That'll oh, be it. We'll be surviving in the metaverse. And if you die, you die in real life. Oh, my God. Yeah. The contact lenses just have like a little hypodermic Ooh. needle that goes right through the lens and injects No, they poison. just zap your brain. They're just over. <laughs> Jeez. I don't know if I want to go to the metaverse. Quit it, you're a scary day drinker. I know. Do I need to do some ASMR to calm you down? No. Oh, <laughs> we have one rule. One rule. No ASMR. Day drinker really no. loves ASMR in case no. you haven't noticed. <laughs> if you haven't noticed. I've, I've actually never found somebody that likes ASMR as much as I do until now. <laughs> we're gonna have a new. I think we're gonna have a new content too. I think we're gonna put out SAS ASMR. Oh, oh well, I guess you gotta. It, it, oh Jesus! So, 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 does the dislike work both ways? Is it that you don't like hearing it, and you're, or is it you're also unwilling to do it as well? Oh yeah, it's both ways. Oh, it's okay, totally just making ways. sure. Yeah, like I jokingly every once in a while will like be like. Yeah. And I'm and I catch myself. I'm oh like, yeah, keep oh going. God, no, no, no. Uh, uh, I, I hate uh, ASMR. Uh, by the uh, way, and she actually scratched her fingernails really against creepy. the mic there for a second. I did. I know. Yeah. <clears throat> but, I was I was just telling a friend about like uh, you know getting on Twitch and like I, I see what other people, what other creators are doing. I was just telling Mike actually, seeing what other creators are doing, and uh, there was one girl who had a microphone and it was like the old timey Coney microphone looking thing and had suds all over it, like bubbles. And it was like, okay. And it, let me just say her channel didn't say anything about ASMR until I clicked and started watching. And she had one of the girls probably, or anybody who does their hair probably knows there's these things called, velcro rollers and you put them rolling in your hair mm -hmm. and they're made out of like velcro and you keep them in your hair creates a lovely wave well she had that also drenched in suds and was just rocking it back and forth on oh her God. uh microphone and was i'm not even talking to it like, <laughs> i she, mean I, I i mean i was like points for innovation there <laughs> Because like, the, like yeah. the snaps and, and pops of the bubbles, I guess. Also, very dangerous. Very dangerous. I, I think this is a pretty controversial I hot mean, take like on dangerous. this. But I think people that do ASMR like that are closeted serial killers. Yeah. Yeah. I will. <laughs> I will go with that. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> if if you do ASMR like that and you don't mm -hmm. think you're a closeted serial killer, you can shoot us an email. I'll, mm. I'll chat don't, you about don't, it. No, no shooting. No shooting. <laughs> Just stab uh, us just an email. Us. Don't stab an email either. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Send it whatever delivery method you want. All right. We're chill with it. It's non-violent delivery methods only. Yes, please. Please. <laughs> or violent. No. So there's conflicting opinions here. I think violent <laughs> could be, could be interesting. So there's one more thing to talk about with the Activision Blizzard acquisition <laughs> is that, uh, so Jason Schreier uh, works for Bloomberg. He's one of their reporters. Uh, for mostly gaming world. Uh, he actually tweeted out the other day, uh, this was on January 21st, and said, breaking. So it's testers at Raven Software, which Raven Software is one of the ones underneath uh, that acquisition that they're getting purchased. It says, mm -hmm. uh, testers at Raven Software, a division of Activision, say they formed a union and are asking for voluntary uh, recognition. The 34-person unit is the first ever union in the big-budget video game industry, uh, and it's filed at Bloomberg. He said story coming soon. And the story basically is that it's that um, they're for one, they're going to be recognized as the first union in video games for one. And because of the fact that the acquisition is happening with Microsoft, uh, Microsoft's actually going to inherit this union mm -hmm. right from yeah. right from the start. So uh, but Activision actually refused to yep. voluntarily recognize the union, mm -hmm. uh, which 
in the long run just delays things a little bit it's yeah. because uh what what the union told the uh told the news outlets is they have a super majority of the workers involved and the workers here are specifically the QA testers um but they they already have a super majority so in the long run it doesn't matter they're just filing a formal petition with the national labor relations board so if the NLRB ratifies the union it doesn't matter what Activision or Raven right. um, does because they're they're just they have to work with the union. They're required by law. I can I can mm-hmm. tell you from a very close personal experience with this that them not voluntarily accepting the union actually it, it does a lot more than you think it does because mm. when they blatantly ignore it. Uh, one of the biggest things is a lot of the confidence in their ability to continue to go forward through a lot of the litigation that comes forward of trying to to like actually move all those things through without the company essentially working with you on it. A lot of people give up. And additionally, it, it depends oh, wow. on the union leaders because if just a couple of union leaders are like, you know what, this is going to be like another year of this. I would almost yeah. rather just leave. Um, stuff like that damages unions or attempts to start unions really quickly. And I've actually seen one of them oh. fall apart almost mm. overnight. Once the, the company that they were trying to unionize with was like, you yeah, know, we're, we're, we're not going to recognize you voluntarily do it yourself. Yeah. I mean, I could see that, <clears throat> uh, yeah. on the positive That's side, perspective. currently the workers in this union is only 34 people. So, uh, it, it's, it's going to be a close knit group of people that have, very similar experiences right now, which is kind of why they unionized in the first place. Right. Yeah. Um, so they, with that number of people, maybe they can weather through that. Yeah. Potentially. <clears throat> the other thing is, is like, will any of those 34 people start to think of like, well, if I join this union, will I eventually just end up paying union dues while yep. being under Microsoft. That's going to treat me better anyways. So I could potentially just forego this, wait until under right. Microsoft and get more money exactly. out of it because Microsoft as a whole has, better benefits across the board generally mm-hmm. pays their employees a lot better. So people will start weighing their options and you might see some changes on how they react. Now knowing that the company is going to go through a massive yeah. merger. So if Jamie anything, Ray that's- on, um, uh, uh, on YouTube just said, uh, and she's my like HR guru just said, she said yes to everything Bruno is saying about unions. It's tough. It's, it's really tough. Because when it's um, a, like a majority opinion, the majority shifts quickly if anything happens, and there's a lot happening. So, yep. <clears throat> so it'll be interesting because once it goes under Microsoft, because it's obviously going that way, um, that could also on the other side have people want to do the union because they're like, well, Microsoft's going to most likely probably recognize it, I would think, right? Sure. But, but at that point, yeah. would you need it? Because exactly it, it, right. That's yeah. the thing. It's like Microsoft will recognize it, but then we're paying union dues to a company that was going to or to a union when the company was going to treat us fairly anyways. Yeah. yeah. And, <clears throat> and it likely would be ratified by then anyway. So yeah. they wouldn't have much of a choice. Yeah. Um, I mean, it, in unions and the concept of Microsoft are an interesting discussion anyway, because Phil Spencer many times uh, in the past has been asked about unions in Microsoft gaming or Xbox gaming and stuff like that. And he has kind of a universal answer, which not a lot of people are happy with, but is he's like, honestly, I don't know. We've never really had unions in Microsoft. We really, I guess people haven't had the need to make unions in Microsoft. So I just don't have the experience with it. So I can't really answer your question. And you can kind of take that two different ways, right? You can kind of take that as like the towing the company line way of, Hey, we got to keep unions out of here. So this is how we're going to talk about it. Or it could be that, you know, the other way, like Bruno was saying is like, they just treat their people better overall. So maybe people just don't think about the need for a union. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see, um, because if it does end up playing out that way, they will be recognized as the first union uh, in the video game world, which a lot Mm -hmm. of that talk was back when, you know, all the stuff was coming to light with Blizzard anyway, and how that like could be potentially something that could help. But it's like now that that monster, that specific monster is going to be kind of hopefully taken care of. 
Um, it still could pave the way for other companies, uh, other other people in different companies that are not getting treated well in the video game industry, because we know there's horror stories out there that maybe this could pave the way for them to think about that, too. So, uh, Bruno, what are you drinking? I should have saved this for intermission, but <laughs> I'm drinking like one of the like the Mexican Cokes. Ah, OK. <laughs> and on that note, give us a few minutes here and we'll take a little short break and listen to a word from our sponsor. Do that. Oh, I don't know what doesn't pee. <clears throat> wow, that was rough. Um, I'm gonna and we're gonna be penalized for that. That's 15 minutes of listening to ASMR. I had to really debate whether I was gonna do ASMR on <clears throat> and we're back. Oh my and god! I decided against it. That was the very and nice of you. That was back. very nice of you. Okay, stop it. So, so I, stop I listen it. to these. I, 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 have, I have the Calm app, and I listen to these sleep stories a lot to fall asleep. Yep. And there's, it, oh, like, oh, oh, I haven't played this one. Oh, let me listen to this guy. And he was, he was the <clears throat> French whisperer. And this is my very first, my very first. This like, isn't getting any better. ASMR like introduction. I was like, and he was like, I'm the French whisperer. Blah, 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 blah. And, and I was like, oh, Did oh, you sound like Pepe oh, Le Pew? Like, oh, yes. Does anybody have drugs? I, I, no joke. Like, so like I, I choose this, you know, and I'm like, OK. And it's like. Starts it and I get my little eye mask on and I get all snuggled in, and then I start hearing this and I was like, I big like shot out of bed and I was like, no, no, recognize my face, turn this off, like I could not. Ugh. Why doesn't this work in the dark? <laughs> yeah. I was like this is not okay. Oh uh, Kids come to the <laughs> door, mommy, are you okay? <laughs> Like, what's going on? <laughs> French Whisper is still playing in the background. Yeah, I was like, I can't get it to stop. <laughs> I always, there's like one thing that's ASMRS that I always make jokes about. And it's one of, like this this guy, I think, Savannah? Or, I don't even know if she dated him. But like, he did an ASMR thing to her before ASMR was even a real thing. And it, it always cracks me up. Because so he, he was whispered some, to her? <laughs> he, he he was whispering to her over the phone, but the thing he was saying just amused me so much because he was like trying to soothe her by saying something along the lines of, first, you take the first step. Oh, stop it. And now, <laughs> you take the second step after the first step closer to me. Okay, I can't. So now I just make jokes about it all the time because it's so cringy. How could oh, I not? That's so bad. So even when we were dating, yeah. she like we'd be talking because we were long distance, you know, and like, uh, we'd be like <laughs> laying in bed talking and like in the middle of a conversation totally normal I'd be like first you take the because <laughs> how could you not so wrong. and then ASMR became a popular thing and I was like now I hate it <laughs> and now you're like yeah. damn that it's guy's making anymore. like a million dollars that man is somewhere making bank he's like he's out there and he's got like a podcast or, or like an app now and there's an Maybe app out there the and you French open it whisperer. up and it goes first you take the first step, and then like okay. thirty hours later, it's like now you take the nineteen hundred seventy six step. <laughs> it's great self affirmation ASMR. Oh my god! Oh man! Oh my god! Wild. There's an app on like that. On that note, uh, let's talk about what we've been playing. <laughs> so this week was a little different than. <clears throat> most weeks because we didn't actually play a game of the moment sort of it was a game uh, we of the actually it, it was it was the game that we played at the moment but it wasn't a typical game of the moment uh, and what i will say with that is is that we did team trivia this past tuesday uh, so we were kind of uh throwing some ideas around and i was talking to a day drinker and i was like do you remember actually this is before the other day we were we were at your house i think and we were talking about different stuff and i was like man, you know what I miss? I miss like trivia at the bar. And she's mm-hmm. like, yes. And I'm like, I know, like we just can't like it's, you know, as being a parent and you know, the world right now, it's like, it's hard to just go to a bar and, you know, play team trivia. So uh, it was one of those things. And, and uh, so we started talking the other day, like, what can we do 
uh, to do something different. Like let, let's play something else. Let's do something else. And uh, the idea came across is let's do team trivia. Like it's a Tuesday night. Yeah. You know, we already have the block of time that we're you know usually hanging out anyway. So let's just let's host a team trivia. So, you know, we, we decided to put that together and uh, and it was pretty neat. Uh, so it played out kind of like if you're familiar with the Jackbox series, uh, you go to a website from your phone or a browser, basically or your phone browser or your computer browser, and uh, you type in a code and then you log into the game. And on the screen, we had the leaderboard, uh, which also showed you the, the current questions. And then uh, as as the game went on, I could I had the options of like showing the live scores or what everybody had, what the correct answers were, what the team scores were, what the individual scores were. And it played out really well. It was it was interesting. Uh, we were talking about it before the pot or before the the stream happened, and we we're like, you know, we'll be happy if like two people show up, yeah. like other than us. Like if two people want to play with us, great, because we don't know. We've ever done team trivia before. Like, is this a thing? And turns out, like we had about fifteen people join. Uh, and so the way we did it was we had uh, three teams. So I was the host. Uh, so I didn't have a team. Uh, plus, I knew all the questions and answers. So it'd be kind of pointless for that. So uh, but uh, Day Drinker, Bruno or Day Drinker, Demurin and Phoenix both had uh, they all three had their own teams. And as you logged in, you get to select whatever team you wanted to be on. And each answer was uh, averaged in for your team. So if someone got an answer right and someone got an answer wrong, you would average out to like 50 points. If one person got a hundred and one person got a zero. Uh, so it was pretty neat. And we, uh, we did that for, uh, I think it was four rounds total, four categories. I was just able to so, show a uh, day drinker, like, like getting a question, right. And going, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I got it right. <laughs> So it was uh, it was pretty neat. And then we did a final question at the end, which was a little worth a little bit more points if they got it right, uh, which ended up on geometry or geography, uh, which Oof. dealt around Canada. So uh, Bruno obviously got that one right <laughs> instantly. So right. <laughs> um, unfortunately, I had a kind of a goof when I set it up and I wasn't able to get the total team scores. So we don't really know who won. I, I, uh, uh, but there was different winners. I kind of want to point something out real quick about that question. You said around Canada, but it was the question was what five <clears throat> or how many Four, U.S. How many, states yeah. with yeah. the letter M at the beginning border Canada. So it was a question about the U.S. Just, was, just to get that was, straight. Yeah. And I, I almost in relation to Canada. Bruno, yeah, I like why should Bruno, as a Canadian, know the fifty United States specifically, the ones bordering Canada? Like, okay, because fine. like uh, that's like what? saying, can can you guys name all the provinces in Canada? Well, well I was going to say, can you United name States? all the provinces that touch exactly. the United States, starting with an M, Bruno? Yeah. Can you go ahead and do that for me? Uh, <laughs> none, because none of them start with an M. <laughs> yeah, I don't I'm know. Low. What? There is. I don't know. There's definitely oh, some that start no, with an M. Manitoba. <laughs> oh, Manitoba. Yeah, there's that one. No, but it, like, how, how? What percentage of Canadian <laughs> cities? Canada again. What percentage of Canadian cities, like of like medium to large size, are within 200 miles of a U.S. city? That's so much more specific. That that but. is much more specific. <laughs> and in in two. Also, like, Six? what's your definition of medium to large? <clears throat> well, what I'm saying is, is there's there's a there's a stat out there that there's mm. a large number of the larger Canadian cities that are very close to U.S. cities, so yes. they yeah. have some That's knowledge of the people it's across cold the border. As f- also, oh, Canadians are just nicer, <laughs> so like they know they know their neighbor. The, where Americans are just. So no, the the real difference is the education system. We actually have to learn things like world geography and not just. Hey, so no geography. we learned world world geography. <laughs> Apparently, a lot of Canada was left out. All I know is is the vast majority of our questions were either about Disney or mm-hmm. '90s TV. Yeah. I mean, yeah. seriously, um, that was, was screwed this on this one. So the categories were video games, 90s TV shows, Disney villains, and grocery stores. That was this week. And again, the grocery stores will be different every week. It was messed up. Yeah, it was. It was. It was fun because Kelly went into that one going like, oh, yeah, I'm going to do this. I actually did pretty well. Yeah, Yeah. you actually did pretty well. I did pretty well. I mean, it was interesting. 
Mm-hmm. If uh, if you're listening I mean, and or viewing and you want to uh, hang out with us and play trivia next next week or whenever we decide to do it again, we'll obviously put it out on Twitter yeah. and in the Discord and, to let you guys and know. Also, but um, feel free to join. Jimmy Ray on uh, YouTube did say that she was pretty sure that Team Mike Sucks did win. Team Mike Sucks won the first one. Poopy okay. Daddy's won the second one. And Poopy oh. Daddy's won the bonus question. <clears throat> I wasn't going to say any names, but you guys wanted to to try to act like who won. So Hey, you know what? I was trying I, to give out participation trophies here, and you guys had to, to nail listen. it up. <laughs> We're not a participation trophy kind of place. Right? <laughs> Do we look like we accept? Part- I'm going to take your part, my participation you're either, trophy. You're either first and- or your last. Behead it, <laughs> and I'm going to put it on your front step with a warning. Oh my god! So <laughs> anyway, if you want to hang out with us and play trivia, we'll let you know next time we do it. And uh, feel free to you know, yeah. join the Discord. You'll find out. And I want to get some better team names going, like maybe some current relevant thing. And we may actually be able to add in another current team. relevant. What, you know, what does that even team? mean? Yeah, like, let me ask you: now, What were you expecting? What granted, you expecting? my team name better. was based off of a very popular rock song from oh like what the I want you seventies relevant. But come on, <laughs> I, I know it's relevant? not quite Define as relevant. relevant. Give, but, give us an example of of a relevant name. Go ahead. Like something like that has to do with trivia. And then something I'm waiting. Mix, Give mix us a name. Into, I don't know anything right now. I have to come up with it. It's something what you think mean? about. Come on. You don't just, it's so easy. You don't just, just spit it out. Name. You so, usually think on these and make up something. Weird. We made up names. You can't even think of one. All right. I played trivia in college once. <clears throat> um, <laughs> at, at a really amazing bar or restaurant in Atlanta. And we were brains with boobs. Is that what you're looking for? <laughs> I mean, that's okay. It's not. I mean, the greatest. what? Unless There's, you can give us examples. Can, I mean, you can I'm Google it. Like, look up here. team trivia names. Oh, these are going to be lame. You'd be surprised. Lame-ity, lame-ity, I, lame-ity. I mean, I'm going to stick with Kelly on this one because, <laughs> like, if you have a bunch of college women that are like doing trivia. It's That's funny. a pretty on on point name. There's uh the daddy palace. <laughs> Got in range with your poopy daddies. Um, okay, so I'm sorry, but I'll go with brains with boobs over the daddy palace any day. No, especially I know. since I'm just saying that one is kind of creepy. Mm-hmm. Like I said, it's something that you look up and you do research on. It's uh, I've played many games of t- <laughs> Honestly, team trivia. I- Thank you for, for mentioning. Game, man. <laughs> thank you for mentioning Daddy Palace. I'm gonna I'm gonna change our name to the Poopy Daddy Castle. <clears throat> I, I I although Majestic Caveman, <laughs> as Kelly was trying to say there, uh, did appreciate Daddy Palace and was yes, the first time for yes. them chatting for us. So okay, what about what about Daddy winner. Stronghold? <laughs> there we go. Or well, something with Daddy. Don't we got you, Mike? It's fine. Daddy issues. Daddy issues like, is a very I feel good. Like the next time it's going to be even worse. Oh god! I mean, I put Daddy one trivia issues. team name in Twitch. Oh my gosh, I wish I could sucks. come up with that. Except I don't because I don't have daddy issues. So, uh. well, that, that's even funnier to use it as a team name then. No, like I just don't want to disrespect my dad like that. But yeah, <laughs> I see your I see your name in chat. You're fine. <sighs> Uh-huh. Ooh, anyway. We can make a novelty team called Team Zycia, but then purposely answer every question wrong. No, 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 no. <laughs> if there was a so, way, if, if you remember, no, we're stuck what on the this. right Mike, answer you brought was. This up. Blame yourself for the previous question, and you use that letter for the current there question because mm-hmm. you forgot what question you were in. So. After we played trivia, better late uh, than one pregnant. of the things that we did, and this is just kind of like a bonus if you do join. Um, there's a game called Marbles that we can play, and it's it's a chat oriented game. So on Twitch, if you do like an exclamation point and type, I think race, uh, it'll drop your marble into the game that you'll see on the screen, and they just do like a race down like these crazy little like maps that people have created. And sometimes they fall off, sometimes they don't. There's no controlling anything. It's just literally random. Um, but it's kind of fun to kind of just do after, you know, we've been playing and just. It also has one of the most around. complex cameras in existence, <laughs> according to Mike. You have to hit like one key or something. 
It was pretty <clears throat> bad. It was pretty bad. <laughs> anyway. Never forget. I'm dying. <laughs> James is sex. Team Bruno. Better <laughs> late than pregnant. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> and so I found my team name. There you go. <clears throat> oh, man. So we talked about this earlier, but we're going to talk about Wordle briefly because we already kind of covered a lot of it. Oh, yes. But Let's discuss more about. Go ahead and take the floor because I know you had something else you wanted to say about the Wordle strategy uh, that I presented. OK, I mean, so. Vicia clearly has a Wordle strategy, but um, so. So define how it's it's because if it's, I you're, win, you're basically wasting if no, I win. Wait. I'm still winning. If I get it within <laughs> six tries, I win. Oh, so I'm totally going to be gatekeeping. I am a total f-ing gatekeeper no. about this no. one. Because <sighs> when you play Wordle, don't waste your turn on <laughs> a on using letters that you know aren't are you you you're not sure or even in the word. Oh my god. You know god. what? I'm going to I'm, I'm going to get I'm, all I'm of having the, I wanna, a kernel panic. Like I mean, I'm really wait, I'm going to strive to try to get no letters right. So it's just a blank six six screen oh and my just show it to you. I, I, wait, I'm confused. Easy. Hold on. Oh, what I'm is confused. his strategy? Okay, so his strategy, so the the deal is if you're if you get a word, if you, you your first guess. Any letter Actually, that you've guessed is in the word and in the right position of the word will uh-huh. be green. <clears throat> any letter that is in the word but not in the right position is yellow and any letter that's that is in the word that you guessed that is not in the word gets grayed out so the problem she's having is that there was two letters that i had on a play that were like impossible to think of any words with those two yellow letters except it was the f- answer or actually green <laughs> So except it was the right, answer, which, right? which that one I did not know. I couldn't think of that word. So, so I used another word without those two letters because I was trying to just get other letters to try to get more points mm. or more letters open. So I knew what to look. Oh, for. Maybe, maybe let me let me try summing this up in another way and see if I can explain this because I have it up on the screen. Zaisia has the correct letter in the correct spot. And then uses another word that doesn't yes. even have a letter in it mm-hmm. at all. Correct. Mm-hmm. At all. Uh, I think I got that's two, what's bugging Kelly. But I yeah, got two totally letters that were me. yellow, meaning in different spots out of the next try, which then gave me, me the way to win. Dude. But you already knew two letters guaranteed. In the but card. I didn't I know the word. I knew you'd be on my side, Bruno. I, I didn't know knew any you of the had words my back. with those two letters in what those spots. What were the spots. letters? I don't remember now. There's no way yeah. to go back. I think it was like O and L maybe. I usually and take, I, I would I like to take a picture. Of I would like to point out that he says, this one was hard for me for some reason. <laughs> so he had, you, he had two of the letters mm. in the right spot. Guess something completely different. His next guess has three letters in the right spot, but he didn't use a word that had the last, he already knew what the last letter was, mm-hmm. but yeah. he used a word without that last letter. Exactly. I kind of get what Kelly's saying here. Oh, thank you. Thank you. But hey, thank you. you see that number that says five out of six? That means I, I won because I got it within six no, tries. I'm not you, debating that. You I'm just finished. debating your complete <laughs> confusion. Why it was hard for you. <laughs> yes, you guys that's where that's me. where I'm at. Like, so when I play Wordle, it is. And, and Jamie Ray says, oh, wait, wait, hold on. She, it, Jamie Ray on YouTube says she wastes turns like a mother. Here's 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 Kelly playing. So. World. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Basically. Yes. <laughs> um, so. Uh, with Wordle. You got to take your time. Do you? You don't have to do anything. Well, I mean, you're not going to guess if you don't do anything. I mean, you you win it. You, you, you finish faster. Let me just say, like, 
It's you not just, always a good thing. Okay. In, in Wordle's case, yeah, no, I mean, don't finish fast. Well, how about this? You finish with fewer tries. You die less. How's that? You know, it's funny. I didn't realize how much this game <laughs> triggered Day Drinker. Like, she's so triggered about you this see, game. You see, it's right? not the game like, that triggers her. It's, it's, it's your method. Like, well, but no, it's like she's even putting rules to this game that doesn't even I have know. the rules there. Like, she's made up all these <laughs> fictional rules. Like, you have, to, you have to take your time. You have to make sure you get it right away. You don't want to waste your turns. Like, just because I got six out of six doesn't mean that I won. Like, there's no Ugh. rules about how to win or this, what's This is coming there. from it's, somebody it's who has game. gotten the word twice <laughs> on two tries. So. Great. Good for you. Still, don't gatekeep. <laughs> yeah. I know. You can I, take uh, pride yeah, in your accomplishment. I hate, <laughs> I hate gatekeepers, and I'm fucking in, gatekeeping. In this case, <laughs> Ellie, I'll back you up. Right? I will help you install the gate. Straight up. <laughs> Good game. Stolen in my house too. Listen, the last bring day. the power tools. I'm gonna and it, 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 Bruno's like, listen. I also got the electric gatekeeper. Like, you, I, I'm gonna give you the remote, and you can gatekeep it all day long. Oh hey, my thanks. God, shout out to Venus White Star in chat who does agree with me. So there you go. I'm not oh. the only person. I mean, uh, yeah, well, I anyway, agree that enough Kelly about world. Keep, we, but we, I also we, agree with we went, her that you're weird. We went down. <laughs> I mean, that's we all do that. Went down a path on that one. So let's let's break it out because we have a lot of other yeah. games to talk. Well, I have a lot we of do. other games. You to have talk about. you have a lot of games. Yeah, to talk about. this, this a lot. segment should really be. What has Mike been playing? <laughs> what has Mike been playing? <laughs> when when he says he has a lot games. of games to talk about, he's gonna he's gonna talk about a lot of games, but he's barely scratched the surface. So it's. Yeah, these games aren't a lot. So the first one I want to talk about and probably even take the most time uh, is Settlers, which is not going to be a lot of time because it's not much to talk about, which is my point. Uh, so Settlers is a game by Ubisoft that uh, is in closed beta currently, and I was able to get into that. Uh, it's going to be an RTS game uh, where you, similar to like Age of Empires, where you have like a, a colony of people that you're, you know, have a different task to cut wood and do all these things because wood, obviously. Uh, but there's also some... Uh, battles in it, some some of the combat that goes along with that. And I was interested. So I downloaded it, and the first attempt to try to get to play this game was terrible. I couldn't even get the game to launch. Like, I went to the forum. A lot of people are having the same issue. Like, you have to, so you have to launch it through Epic, but it has to be through the Ubisoft launcher. Then you have to tie your accounts together. Then you have to launch the game. You have to let it fail. Then you have to go back to the website, log back in, and then close it back out, make sure everything's closed out, then launch Epic again, and then launch the game. And then it'll prompt you to tie your account together. I mean, it's just like this massive puzzle to get the game started. And then after all of that, it still wouldn't load. So I said, okay, well, this is bad. So then I was talking to Bruno, telling him about it. And of course, when I talked to him about it and tried to launch the game again, it just worked because why not? So I was excited to get to play a little bit of it. Uh, But ultimately, it's a closed beta. It's not finished uh, as far as I'm aware. (laughs) Um, It was... It was I great mean, up until that it wasn't. Start, I hope it's not. <laughs> like I, so, I played right? through the tutorials, and it was great until it wasn't because the tutorials kind of really lightly show you how the game mechanics work. Just very, like you know, this is the building mechanic, this is the combat mechanic, and now you're ready to go play a skirmish. So I did the skirmish, and obviously it unlocks a lot more things you can build and stuff from the tutorials. So I was pretty excited about that. Um, but some of the main things that really kind of just messed with me were that everything was on a hex. So when you want to build something, uh, everything had a hex based on the map, as opposed to where like Age of Empires, you can just drop anything, which is kind of cool. I was like, oh, that's pretty neat. But the problem with that was, is that they had a radius around the building to where the people that are like the workers there could only get resources from. So I couldn't find another way to gather more resources without breaking a place down, building another road like five feet away from that place, dropping a new place for them to like chop wood. So I was like, this is kind of weird okay um so i had a lot of I had a lot of issues with that with like the fishing because <laughs> there was only certain spots where they could fish and it was like this big ordeal uh secondly though is i had you start off with a bunch of like villagers that you can't really control they're just like they automatically start doing things but then you start off with like some army and some engineers engineers are the ones that build things and make sure that you can like create roads and stuff and do maintenance. And then you have your like actual infantry that go and you explore with. So I had about 15 infantry. I take them out. I get into a fight 15 on 15. 
which I thought would be winnable because they were like barbarians. Well, no, they destroyed me. <laughs> I had zero army left now. So I said, okay, well, then I just need to build more army. So how do I do that? So I start looking through the inventory or the build screen and I see like, oh, in order to build, you know, the weapon or the infantry, I need to build a weapons thing. And in order to do the weapons thing, I need a blacksmith. And in order to do that, I need to smell and all this stuff. So I was like, okay, so I started at the beginning. It's like, go collect ore. So I'm like looking around the map and I don't see any ore. And I'm like, how am I supposed to build, like, get, like, smelt ore if I can't find it. And literally the map was empty. Like there was no other resources other than the original stone that you start with. So I couldn't build any more infantry. So at that point I'm like, well, let me take the engineers out. Well, the engineers get destroyed immediately. Like, they don't even like fight back. They just die. So I'm like basically playing for 15 minutes to get up and running just to get my base going. It immediately is done because I can't do anything else with it. So unfortunately Closed beta was not a success for me. It was not even really worth downloading my time to play it. Uh, I did submit the feedback to their website and uh, they actually sent me an email today saying, you know, how the closed beta go? Send me an email. So I was expecting to do that here soon. But ultimately at this point, this is almost felt like a, a pre alpha build. Like it didn't even feel like, like there it was proof of concept almost like at this point, like it was almost like a, a, an idea that seems really cool, but it just was not in a, in a state that like actually showed me what they were trying to figure out. So anyway, that's my take on settlers. Uh, again, it's an Ubisoft game. It's just be coming out, I think in April. So they have a lot of work to do at this point. And so you, said uh, that yeah. you didn't have anybody with weapons. I originally started with 15 people and then they okay. all died. So hot take from chat. They want mm. to know. During this game, did you build a gate? Uh, I did not because there's not a way to build walls or gates. It's only you can build watchtowers, which, again, don't really help if I can't fight anybody. So uh, moving on. So I did play a game last week. I told you guys about the uh, was it two point hospital. Um, just quickly, I downloaded a game on my phone called Frenzied Hospital. And it's literally two point hospital just on your phone, but more of an idle game. So if two point hospital sounded interesting to you or a hospital style game, idle game that you can like play on and off uh, pretty neat. Didn't have a lot of ads. Uh, if any, you could, you could watch ads to like get more points and stuff, but o- overall I didn't do any of that. And I still had a good time with it and I've been playing it just kind of off and on. Um, and just, it's pretty fun. So I would say, check that out if you're into that. I did get back to new man sky, which was interesting uh just kind of seeing i joined with a friend who's been playing uh off and on now for a while and he has like this massive really cool base that's like the cantina it's really neat uh shout out to uh to narwhal on that one uh but he showed me some of the new stuff that was kind of incorporated in the last few updates which i hadn't seen Uh, so i was able to check that out it's really cool really excited to go back to playing that uh but i didn't have time to do that much else than the time i played with him so Still looking forward to go back to that. I think it's currently on sale on Steam right now because Steam has the Lunar New Year sale going on right now. Mm-hmm. So I think it's fifty percent off, you, which is thirty bucks. Thank you for Venus. Thank thank you to Venus White Star for um, telling us that in chat. Um, it is the year of the tiger, and awesome that they're doing a Lunar New Year sale ends on uh, February third. Nice. Yeah, so that's I think it's thirty percent or fifty percent off, and I think it's thirty bucks right now, which is interesting because it started off at sixty and then it went back down to thirty, and then now that the game is like got a lot of content, I guess they're selling it for sixty again, which I'm okay with that. It's actually worth sixty dollars, if not more now at this point. Um, second to last is I played Angry Birds two. <laughs> uh, they had the new commercials for it, so I said, Wait. let me let me try it out. It's fifteen. It's the same later. game. It's the same game as the original. Uh, the only thing they've added in is a bunch of like microtransactions. Dad, if uh, you're so, still watching uh, Angry Birds 2, if you haven't yeah. downloaded it yet. So it. they have a bunch of microtransactions in here with that. Now you can skip a lot of that. It's, there's a whole like presentation window when you first start that has all that. And then you can just go to the game. And then the game has the normal stuff, which is pretty fun. So I've been playing that a little bit. And then the last thing is something that me and, uh, well, the last thing that I've played along with Demurin is a game called Planet Crafter. And I'll let you, Demiron, talk about it a little bit because you've actually yeah. played it a little longer than mm-hmm. that. So uh, I've clocked somehow 24 hours on what is essentially a demo of a game. 
Um, Planet Crafters is made by an indie studio, uh, two people, and the entire point of the game is actually interesting. You are a um, a prisoner who had the choice to spend their entire life in prison or be dropped on a planet um, with some resources in your drop pod, and you're supposed to terraform it. And if you succeed in terraforming the planet, then that means you get to go free. As the premise of the game, it is currently in an alpha. Um, and uh, yeah, you you actually go out there, you collect resources on the planet, you start building up your base, generating pressure by releasing gases from the planet um, into the atmosphere, generating heat with like giant heat machines, power, oxygen, um, with like O2 machines and... Uh, as you progress, it, you have like monitors and stuff that you can set up to track your progress, how much pressure you create in the atmosphere. Eventually, you'll build an atmosphere around your planet, um, and things just continue to move forward from there. Then you get clouds and rain, lakes, um, flora, insects, um, trees, fauna, etc. are all supposed to be in the game. But it's a really cool concept. Um, yeah, that works really, really well, actually. Um, and right now they say like the first world that they're working on is only like 40% complete. Um, and there's already like, in my opinion, at least 20 hours worth of content in the game. Um, and just the demo. Well, yeah. in the unlocked version of the demo, I should say. So it, it was really cool. Cause the idea is like you're terraforming <laughs> the planet, right? So you're kind of thinking like, what does that mean? And literally as you're, you know, doing these things to help terraform the planet, like the sky starts changing to blue like it goes from like this mars like atmosphere to like as you slowly progress it slowly gets clearer to the point where it's actually blue uh and i saw you know screenshots of demir and like he actually had like a lake at one point and literally you start this game off it's yeah, like it starts mars. raining it like, starts raining oh. so the low areas start to fill with water maybe you've built in those low areas that start filling up with water and becoming lakes so yeah that was my favorite my favorite comment from bruno was like I apparently built my base camp where there's supposed to be a lake. <laughs> yeah, I found a place I wanted to build. I built a giant base on it. And then when I got to the lake portion, the water just kept increasing. And I was like, well, maybe it'll stop. Maybe I'm not in a lake. Maybe it's just like a riverbed. <laughs> and I started, I was like, nope, no, it's not. So I started ferrying all my stuff to a new base that I was starting to build to get away from the lake that I still wasn't sure wasn't in the lake. <laughs> um and inevitably i was like i'm not even going to do this i'm just scrapping this entire save and starting over from scratch because it's going to be more work or it's going to be more tedious work than if i just started <laughs> all over again with yeah, the knowing knowledge the knowledge that, that you have now. yeah so uh, yeah but Jamie it was Ray hilarious says, nope atlantis <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly by the time that i gave up like my base was four stories tall and had multiple nuclear reactors and like it had got like my nuclear reactors were sitting on the roof and the water had started to like rise up onto the roof and i was like all right well <laughs> that's that we're just gonna <clears throat> demolish this one and move on with my life yeah so it's a very neat game uh and, and james has sucks has said that in the chat is like <laughs> i don't know if any survival games have done that and, and same I, I haven't seen anything like this um for this type of thing what I did say is it would be very cool if there was multiplayer, which apparently that is something that you're going to work on eventually, uh, maybe before the game is released officially. Um, but it would be super cool to have friends because the whole point of terraforming, like you have to, to do certain things to kind of increase that number. So having more people help do that would obviously be more fun. Uh, but there's also uh, meteor showers that literally have meteors that crash into the planet that you're on. So like you're standing there and all of a sudden you look up and it starts getting dark and like you just see all these meteors coming in from this planet just like flying in and they just and they blow up like huge chunks of like rock fly through the air and like hit your base. It's just it's pretty nuts. You can actually so. eventually shoot rockets into space that will drag meteors into the atmosphere that will like rain down iridium and uranium all over the planet. Um, alternatively, um, because I'm me. I at one point decided, what happens if I try and ride one of these rockets into space? So oh, I used my jetpack to jump on the rocket. So I like I, I went, I built the rocket, King I Dr. pressed the Strange button to launch the rocket, I shot off onto the rocket, and then I was like sitting on the side of the rocket, it launched off, and my weight, I guess, impacted the rocket's trajectory, and the rocket tilted 
spun out through the sky and slammed into the lake nearby. <laughs> and I was like, well, that did not have the desired effect. <laughs> yeah. Did not so go to space. I'm curious to see. And again, this is a demo. This is on Steam right now. It's called Planet Crafter. You can go download it. It's free. It's a demo. The uh, well, I'm, I'm excited to see where they may go with this because they may the end rules, up going to drink. There's a cat in the frame. To, Sorry. I, I'd like to see what they kind of do like Icarus, right? So Icarus had like these to, to keep the game loop going and not just be like a, a, a simulator just to keep building. You are able to, you know, do your mission and then you have a certain time when you have to get out of there. So if they did something like that, I could see how that could be entertaining, but I, I don't know. I just don't, it's too early to tell, I guess really what they're going to go with it. Um, but one thing that I will point out that me and both Bruno agreed is, you know, it's a two man developer team, but we really did not find any bugs that were like messing this game up. Like there was yeah, really wow. nothing wow. Until that I we ran into. Legitimately seeked out breaking things by jumping on top of rockets and like using yeah. the jetpack to try and like glitch into places. There was super obvious I wasn't supposed to be. I was like, I'm going to take 20 oxygen canisters. I'm going to glitch myself over the side of the map and then go forward unlimited. And eventually, eventually my character just like phased through the map and fell. <laughs> but like yeah. that's it, it was pretty impressive that's amazing yeah. so it, it kind of rem- like i was saying to him it kind of reminded me of like you know almost like phasmophobia where you have like a very small developer team which in that case was one person at the time but i mean that game definitely had some jank to it but overall mm. the gameplay and the mechanics were great so this good. one actually has you know everything seems almost i wouldn't say polished but it's there was yeah. there wasn't really a lot of things that i see with some games where like things are clipping and like it just doesn't look right like none of that really happened to uh, us, yeah. which was pretty the impressive only, for the a only demo. real issue I came across was optimization base. And it was I there's an item you can make in the game where it's like a, a cedar that like it essentially like grows plants in an entire area. And I ended up crafting. A couple hundred of them to cover my entire map in grass. And I'll tell you when there's a couple hundred of those things. It gets laggy. Uh, like really yeah. laggy because that's a that's a <laughs> lot of it, it i think it's because it's like active flora versus like passive mm. so like it, it generates weirdly as you walk through it so i think it's like actually trying to generate all of these entities so you end up with right. like millions of plant entities just shower all over the ground um and, and my fps went from a stable like 144 to like 10 wow <laughs> I was yeah. like, okay almost seems like satisfactory in the sense of like optimization like the more factories and things yeah. you start building like it starts kind of like chugging along at the end but yeah it's it was a great game like i said i'm really excited to see what they're gonna do with it uh and it's like i said free on steam planet crafters planet crafters and yeah go check it out <clears throat> they also have feedback enabled in the game so you can click a button and submit feedback within the I game so F-A. if you play yeah, you can just hit the Don't button, worry, submit your feedback. You'll know that it's there because they'll plug it every oh, 30 seconds. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so, cool. Um, that's what we've been playing. Uh, what about you, Kelly? I think you got something. I got one. Um, so, uh, a mutual friend of ours told me about this game called Pony Island. And um, he said, I think you're going to like it. It's in, in when you finish it, let me know if it's as fucked up as I remember. And I was like, OK. And I downloaded it a while ago, months ago, and just haven't played it yet. And I started playing it and it was like. Oh, my God. I get on line with. Zaysia for something and I'm like have you played Pony <laughs> Island yet and he goes no that's not my kind of game I was like no wrong it's, answer it's not it's not what you think and he was like I've got two daughters he's thinking like my little pony yeah it's my little shit. pony well they actually yeah. had a my pony game on the the past game pass uh, 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 so I assumed my, it was just that it was yeah and then <laughs> um phoenix gets on and i'm like phoenix have you played uh, uh pony island he was like yes awesome game oh so good and it was like 
Anyway, it is, if you have not, it, it, the name is obviously very deceiving. Um, uh, the, well, okay. I mean, there's, a, there's a payoff on it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I and I have not finished it yet, um, but it is not what you think it's going to be. So you start off. It's very dossy, eight bit, like oh, Pony Island. Oh, so this it's first of all not a pony; it's a unicorn. And True. you click play game, and it goes, er, and you're like, no, I'm. All right, don't give me too many spoilers. Play game. <laughs> I mean, it's and, Pony Island. I mean, yeah, come on. and then it's like, er, right. The way that. Mike liked um, inscription. Inscription is the way you're gonna like this game. Yeah, sweet. I'm excited. There's, there's a lot of humor to it, um, and deviousness, <laughs> and <laughs> um, uh, you're just you. If you haven't played it. Definitely played. And if you like yeah, coding in any way, shape, or form, definitely play it. And if you love getting really frustrated and like clicking your mouse and clicking on the keyboard and all that stuff, and then you move and you're like, that's, I see now. I, I see now what I, I was supposed to do. That's what you should do. Definitely. Sweet. Play this well, game. luckily, I have a, a good friend who purchased it for me and gave it to me as a gift. Mm -hmm. So Somebody I'll have to check it out potentially that. this weekend. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. It is very Atari. Captain E said Atari. It is very Atari like. Yes. Shout out to Activision, right? <laughs> uh, they made Atari Activision? games back in the day. Yeah. Hang on. Hang on. So that's all we've played this week. Uh, but. I know there is a game that we were very hesitant at first to talk about, uh, but kind of seems oh. like it may be shaping up a little bit. And I think some of us or one of us at least is going to purchase it. I think it releases okay. tonight at midnight. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if sh saying it's shaping up is the right way. Nothing changed. Yeah, that's not yeah. Well, true. Nothing changed. So, true. so to be clear, so it's it's Pokemon Shaping Legends. Shaping is it um, how we would put it? <laughs> Arceus or RK? I don't know how to pronounce it. But um, the game's it's gotten Pokemon. like a lot of looks back like and Arceus forth. to me. Um, essentially, the <laughs> graphics are terrible. Everything we've seen about the game leading up to it seemed like it wasn't going to be very promising. But the reviews that have come out from major reviewers are like between like seven and and nine point five stars, effectively. If there's like a five star scaling, whatever. Um, which is like, it's not bad. Um, but when you read the context within the reviews, a lot of them do cite that the graphics are pretty rough. Um, it, it definitely doesn't do super well on the switch in terms of how it's been optimized. Um, so there are a lot of like, there, there, it seems like the general consensus is a lot of glaring issues that shouldn't exist in a game developed by, um, such a, large company i guess like such a wealthy company a company mm -hmm. so capable of doing better but the reason why it's still managed to pull out some good reviews is everyone agrees that this is finally after 25 years of the exact same implementation in all of their games a fresh new implementation of a way to play pokemon which is like i guess we've just lowered our bar now to where we're like, we'll literally take anything that looks like it could be good as a net positive because you guys have been stagnant for so damn always. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So that is why it's afforded itself some decent reviews and uh, hopefully it gets better. I don't know. I mean, they have the ability to release additional content for it. So maybe the next Pokemon is the final step to getting to where Pokemon should be. We'll sure. So I think the rumor so, was that Microsoft's going to buy Game Freak. Was that the huh. rumor? That you were That's to start? what I wish. <laughs> <clears throat> buy oh, Game man. Freak. Take that team and be like, all right, Pokemon team, you're going to work with the Bethesda and Obsidian team for a little while <laughs> because we've reformed the Bethesda team now. You guys are going to come together. You're going to use their engine um, for their new game and you're going to make a new Pokemon game. 
And then we're all going to get the open world RPG Pokemon experience. That's, we've always wanted. that's really what Elder Scrolls Six is. It just has we're going to hop on some of those space Pokemon <laughs> and travel to other planets. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so there was breaking news today, especially exciting news for those fans of wrestling out there. Uh, wrestling in a battle royale. In fact, that's right. Rumbleverse, <clears throat> which brings together. Uh, professional wrestling and the concept of a battle royale in kind of a almost Fortnite looking game, very kind of cartoonish. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, it's brings a interesting concept where it's a battle royale, but there's no ranged weapons. There's no rifles. There's no snipers. It's everything is what you do in wrestling. You know, uh, every, everybody knows wrestling in the Olympics. You pick up a giant chair and hit somebody over the head with it. Stuff like that. I don't know. Um, wrestling. I know wrestling. One or the other. It depends on uh, you know which part of the country you're from. Uh, but they did announce today that it is going to launch on February 15th. Also, especially if you go to our Discord, and under our Discord, there is a section called the Skill Tree, which you'll find beta signups. Uh, there's a link in there that you can sign up to be part of their early access um test on the 12th or network test. So a couple days before release, uh, the 12th being the weekend, you can sign up and try it out a little bit early. Uh, also I'd like to point out the 15th is a Tuesday. Ah, uh, maybe there's a game of the moment <laughs> in the future, potentially, <laughs> especially since it's a multiplayer one and, and, and- we have new video set up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm excited well, cool. about it. So yeah, that's, uh, James that's what got our excited. attention. That is what got our attention this week. And I'm checking to see if we have any emails, but I would probably think not because nobody likes us. We have no, no emails. people like us. They just need, we to have email emails, us. but they're not from you guys. And I don't want to read those. So, uh, but yeah, if you want to send us an email, send it to GOA at sasgaming.com. Uh, obviously we'll, you know, talk about it. We'll, cover it and do all the other stuff uh if you want to find out more about us check out our discord or go to sasgaming.com where you can find all of our links uh, also our youtube page sas gaming uh and if you want to support us in any way feel free to check out our patreon patreon.com slash sas gaming where you can get basically the podcasts unedited so get you your know, names in the credits unfiltered get your names in the credits uh, uh get a little fla- uh, swag on discord for some of the titles and such yeah I, and I would like to say, hey, you know, as a reminder, we don't what do you- we don't get anything from YouTube for putting this out there. We don't have the viewership to do that. Uh, so if you are interested in supporting us, we like it would be we would really appreciate it. Yeah. And if and if you can't and right now, that's fine. Uh, biggest thing is to tell your friends, you know, uh, yeah. you know, add us on Twitter, add us on Twitch, add us on YouTube, you know, because there's more than one way to support there. us. Yes. Yeah, like you know, helping us grow the channel will be way. super big for us. Yeah, and we'd appreciate any any of the help that we get. So definitely tell um, your friends, especially with some of the exciting things with like the trivia night and stuff like that that we're doing. Uh, you know, it because growing our viewership is just as supportive as Patreon is. So yeah, absolutely, yeah. we would appreciate absolutely. that just more. as much, if not more, in some ways. Mm-hmm. Well, cool. That's uh, that's been our show. So we appreciate everybody that's out there listening and watching live and. Always check us out next Thursday when we uh, do it here live and you'll check it out the podcast on your podcast places later. (laughs) So until then, see you guys later. Take care. Bye. See you.